Hi viewers and welcome to another episode of my life in the mountain kingdom of Lesotho. My name is Adriana and on this channel I share my rural African village life with you. So welcome, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here. So this morning I just hopped over into my neighbor Bernard's yard where he has a lot of these lovely red cactus prickly pear fruits growing in abundance and I'm here to pick some this morning and thanks to my neighbor Bernard's generosity who's allowing us to come and pick as many as we want for free and this morning I'm not the only one that's here and we're gonna pick as much as we want <music> So I'm just taking my time and I just want to carefully get into those hard to reach spots because I'm trying to pick some of the best ones and I'm wearing my work gloves because this stuff is not called prickly pears for nothing guys. It has a lot of tiny thistles there on those eyes that will get right into your skin if you are not careful or if you pick them barehanded. So I'm very careful because those tiny pricks will even fly into the air and attach themselves to your skin as you pick. So it's best to pick these very early in the morning when there is no breeze. Fortunately, I did not get pricked this morning. I did not get pricked at all, but because I was so eager to go and get some of the best ones for my sister-in-law, I almost slipped and almost fell into the cactus plant. And thank God I did not fall because that would have been a huge, huge disaster. So yeah, that's me slipping right there. Oh my goodness. Whew. Yeah, this is making my heart sink just watching it. And to be honest with you guys, these are the kind of daredevilish ads that almost got me and other kids into a lot of danger when we were small because we would go into some of the most dangerous places where there are cliffs and huge rocks to pick this stuff and my mom would constantly tell us stories of a young girl in a nearby village when they were growing up she went to pick this stuff after it rained and unfortunately the cliff fell apart and she died which is quite sad but those kind of stories never stopped us from doing these dangerous things i mean growing up in the village we would even go down to the river to swim and we used to get into a lot of trouble even though we knew there were people that have disappeared at the river to this day so it's just african village life when you're a kid you don't think a lot about these things and you get yourself into a lot of dangerous situations in my native language of Sesotho, we call prickly pears Dorofeir. So please let me know down in the comments below what you call it in your native language. And before I discuss two of the solutions that villagers provide to two of the biggest challenges when it comes to prickly pears, I'm first going to discuss some of the health benefits that this amazing cactus fruits provides. 
According to a quick Google search, prickly pear is rich in vitamin C, magnesium, copper, and potassium, and has smaller amounts of other nutrients such as calcium and multiple B vitamins. The magnesium helps regulate blood pressure and stress response and lessens the risk of heart disease. The fruits also have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties which can help protect against cellular damage and reduce inflammation markers. It is also high in fiber which is important for digestion. So what are two of the major risks related to prickly pears that I experienced growing up? Well, number one was constipation. Some of the kids would get very severe constipation from eating this fruit while we were growing up. And the elders would solve this by sticking a spoon in their behinds to unclog the constipation and provide relief. Thank God that never happened to me. And number two, of course, is getting pricked. Man, we got pricked a lot as kids because we were so careless and hot papa, otherwise known as pap or milly meal was a quick solution to removing the prickles when applied to the affected areas. Just look at the amount of prickles sticking in my glove, guys. If these were on my hand, whew, I'm telling you, that would have been very painful. So now I'm done picking and I'm just gonna go ahead and rub these on the ground right here on top of the grass and what this does is it helps eliminate most of those prickles that are on the pears and once I'm done with that these can get washed and that will help remove whatever else that is still remaining on the pears. these are washed and uh, I didn't get footage of that but I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the ends off and then I'm gonna peel them so this is what the fruit looks like inside it's a deep dark red color and they're quite juicy and so sweet to the taste. Another way to eat this is by splitting the fruit half open. And this is what it looks like. There are several, several tiny seeds in there and I don't mind them at all. I just eat the fruit with them. So I just take a spoon and I scoop some out and I go ahead and eat that. And this is where I'm gonna end today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up comment and share it with your friends and family and if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing i would love to have you as part of my youtube tribe and until next time bye bye